is. Dave's vision, our mad scientist. Dave. Yeah, Dave Lowe, our props master. This is, he's in his wheelhouse I know. at Halloween. He doesn't sleep. And when he does, it's in a coffin. I, it's, no, that is true. But we are in our house. Up. We're on our yeah. wheelhouse. We are. We yeah. certainly are. In our, and it's Monday, in case you haven't checked the calendar. Welcome to Home and Family. I want to get started in the show because we have, uh, I have some big surprises in store for you. Do me? No. Do I have a surprise? No, you have a surprise. Oh, it's oh later. Up. Yeah, our first guest stars as Robin Hood in Once Upon a Time. Welcome, actor Sean McGuire. Welcome, sir. Good to have you here. Is, is Robin Hood your wheelhouse? Did you grow up wanting to be that guy? Yeah, I grew up in England and we lived in a shoebox and we didn't have a television, so we had yeah. to keep ourselves entertained. And so <laughs> I, I even fashioned my own bow and arrow. And Whoa, so, wow. Look at that. Now, now I have a, wow. a proper one. I have a grown up one. Mm. A proper one. <laughs> a grown up one. And lots of leather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must smell good. Oh, I love musky. Smell of, yes. you can Very never, musky. You know, if you're Robin, you can never grow up. No, I not really. Well, I haven't. So yeah. I, well, he have hasn't. you met Peter? Yeah. <laughs> Peter Pan, right here. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, welcome. We're going to Thank talk to you, you yeah. about yeah, you and your uh, evil queen, because he has one. I'm sitting right here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, she set herself up and delivers. And yes. Okay, it's all good. Well, our next guest stars as uh, part of the studded ensemble cast, and this is such a wonderful show. It's called Life in Pieces. Angelique Cabral is with us. Hi. In the show, we have James Rowan, Diane Weiss, and Colin Hanks. They all star in the show. It has to be intimidating for you. I mean, yes, this is a very this is heavy hitters in this show, but everyone is amazing and very normal, and we just go to work, and we make each other laugh, and then we go home. And uh, Jim Brolin goes back to his Malibu mansion and with his Mrs. hammock. With Mrs. With, Brolin? Yeah, whenever yeah. he's talking about his wife, we're always like, we, we know who you're, Barbara? Yeah, 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 we know who that is, yeah. I love your leg kick in this, though. Yeah, I, I like to kick my leg. I think it's fun, it's, it's, and she's yeah. like a fun girl, so yeah. I, that's how I show that I'm fun. I kick my leg. <laughs> well, like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, speaking of fun and girls. And leg kickers. And leg kickers. Almost. Oh, it's, look, it's very close to Halloween, so you got to get dressed up. And who better to play dress up than Kimmy Douglas? Hi, Hi, Hi everybody. Hi, Corey. What is going on, Corey? Um, you guys, do you know that Halloween is landing on a Saturday night? Oh, so fun. This year, That's right? So, fun. so you can take Alexandra out um, trick or treating. From four and to six. Then you can go out, <laughs> yes. And then you can go yeah. out in your little black Ooh, dress wow. and Cute. just add like a little bit of a bat necklace. Oh my God. Barbara wow. Streisand um, goes uh, with this with particular that? designer. Ooh. Yep. Um, it's called but Marty it. Magic. Yes. Oh, and I isn't that, oh, here. Oh, I love that. That's isn't so that cute. so cool? It's yeah. a bat necklace. So so you're Are you bat girl? bat girl all day today? Oh my god! So I have all kinds of cool accessories on how you can just wear a little black dress and then be all Halloweeny or Glamoween. Oh, oh wow! What I did there. That was good. All right, we have the hashtag. All right, Thank you. Glamoween. Glamoween. Well, we know the seasons are changing. Yeah. It's Halloween already, and there's big changes in the air. So does our wardrobe have to change too? And here to give us tips on how to examine our closet and decide. Decide what do we donate, what do we fix, or ditch? Debbie, Matt You are so batty. Tim oh, is batty. Oh my God. Did I get the high hat, Julie? Thank oh, you. I don't look. Mark I don't need say. to be here anymore. I, I just, oh, oh, look, yeah. so Mark, I'm wow. sorry. I should have let you do that. One. Let me get yes, in on this. The stuff. seasons are changing, and I know you guys can all relate to this. At least the women can. Yes. There are things we've had in our closet for years that we just can't get rid of. You know, it's that your favorite jeans mm -hmm. that have holes all in them that you can never wear in public. Some things <laughs> have tags on them that we haven't worn, uh -huh. yet we keep them we in can't the get in them. Right. <laughs> and you're never going to get in them. Yeah. I know, it's so, true. And shoes that I have still... worn into the ground, and I say, no, they're great shoes, and I look homeless. Do you, yeah. so, you want me to take this she off? has her tag on I know, that. because oh, I wasn't yeah. sure if I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like this, or should I take it back? Wow. This is like first it. world problem. Right. Let me you know, tell you. We will actually solve this in my second. Okay, so perfect. I'm going to tell you guys what you should, while you're cleaning your closet, moving it from uh, summer into fall, what to ditch, what to fix, what to donate, and what to keep. I know it's going to be tough. We spend yeah, money on our things, yeah. but it's time, it's ladies. Emotional. I just want to point out how comfortable, it's very psychological. how comfortable our guests are here when they just, call out kids. Angelique's like, oh, yeah, you get your yeah, tag hanging out. Oh, look at it. Way to throw me you paid $35 does. for this. Oh, nice. Secondhand store. <laughs> Wonderful. You know, Halloween, we are talking about it, so the transformation is almost complete out front. You saw a little bit of what we've done to this point so far. Well, today, I'm going to team up for a very scary 
scary DIY with the very scary Matt Rogers. Matt? Boo! That is me! Thank you, Mark. <laughs> I love doing DIYs with you, man. Honestly, you make me better every time we do stuff. And today wow. I'm pumped because we are going to do haunted, scary Halloweenses. <laughs> <laughs> oh they look amazing, don't they? Wait, oh, okay. They look so they, yeah, real. They... Perhaps Robin Hood would have them in the castle. I was just thinking, I think I saw that in Restoration Hardware. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're really, really contemporary these days. Yeah, that's true. They are. They are. Well, we're going to go into the kitchen later because she's the co-host of Nut Kitchen on Food Network, and she's a best-selling cookbook author. Welcome back to our house, Chef Marcella Viadoli. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. It smells so good. What are you making? Today? I'm making pork tacos that have been slowly braised in chiles and hoisin sauce, and they're kind of amazing. You guys are going to love them. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. So I'm kind of just like laughing because I'm looking over there, and I'm seeing one of my best friends in the whole world. He usually watches every morning, critiques me every afternoon when I come home. Okay, Christina tells me about the whole show. He's here with his new trio and brand new EP. Welcome Emmy Award winning and platinum recording artist Corey Charles Lario. So Pablo Cruz! Okay. There's Tell a leg me. kick. Oh, yeah, yeah there's a leg, leg kick. kick. I know. All right. So, it's your new EP, yeah. yeah. How is it different from the stuff you used to do for Pablo Cruz? How long do I have to answer that? Yeah. <laughs> He's got a few seconds, but we'll talk with you later well, about Pablo it. Well, Pablo Cruz was more fun in the sun. Pablo Cruz had the palm tree in the sun, and we were mostly about love songs and the beach. These are yeah. more sarcastic, the yeah. Corey Charles trio. <laughs> the title of this song of the record is If I Could Change Anything, It Would Be You. Oh. Do poke a lot of fun, so we're going to do a little duet later together Aww. on a song that he wrote especially for. Well, you wrote well, for it. You, you changed no, a lot no, of the lyrics after the we met. Consummate egotist. What's the, name, what's the name of the song? Here's looking at me, babe. Here's looking at me, babe. I That's took. I think. took the fall. Okay. All for right. you. Okay, for me. All right. So we're going to we're going to team up later with your band, and then I get to do a little. That's going to be fun. It's fun. Okay. I am so looking forward. I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> There's okay. a lot of material going to come from that one okay. segment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's going to play some of his public. I know that. Too. I'm a looking medley, forward so to. That's so, great. And I'm going to do about 35 minutes. I hope that doesn't yeah. Yeah, overtake this. <laughs> and I'm glad you pared it down for us, by the way. Uh, here with a unique DIY for your home is Paige Hemmes. Hi. Hey. It's time, I actually am working on a cabin with my husband up in Big Bear, and we wanted to make it really look like a cabin. I'm going to show you guys how you can do it at home. This is an antler chandelier. Yes, These beautiful. normally go for anywhere from 3000 to, Christina was telling me, what, 30000 30, I've seen them for 75000 Oh, my gosh. That's been crystal with uh, Swarovski crystals. Yes. But, yeah, they're very, they're very, very expensive. expensive. So I'm going to show you how to make it for under $100. Wow. Save oh, your money. Yes. What did you say? Not <laughs> what? Not nothing, nothing. She's getting real cuddly up the, in here. You mess with the you mess with the the buck, you get the horns. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Wow! All right. All right. I'm so, going to be about this. Think about that. Well, if you don't want to spend that kind of money on a chandelier, here are tips on how to get the best Halloween deals. Is Jeanette Jeanette Pavine? Hi, Jeanette. Hi. that we kind of run out last minute and buy things, but I did all the homework for you. I'm going to tell you where you could get the best deals on candy, costumes, and pumpkins. So, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. And we just love to give away things here. So the holidays are almost upon us. Here at Home and Family, we're going to give away the ultimate holiday gift, a 2015 Ford Edge to what? one lucky what? viewer. What? Matt Rogers is out front with that grand prize. How great is that? Jeanette's going to tell you how to get a ha Halloween deals, but there is no better deal than free. Free Ford Edge, one of America's greatest car producers. Ford is giving away a Ford Edge. You want to hashtag HF Yeehaw Contest on all of your social media and make sure you hashtag that. You got to stay home and family and you got to hashtag HF Yeehaw Contest. Free. Come on. Fantastic. How great is that? Yeah, if you do, if you want a chance it's to free. enter for this, the 2015 Ford Edge, you go to our Facebook page and as Matt was telling you, uh, use the Yeehaw tab. Uh, what? At the Yeehaw. yeehaw. Okay. That's what it is. All right. Corey's jealous now because I hit a higher note there until he gets outside. <laughs> um, and then you can go, uh, or you can use hashtag HF Yeehaw Contest on our Twitter or our Instagram. And the video, you have to be creative. Yeah. Be very creative. Yeah. And you have to include. No, 
both, bars. both yeah. yeehaw and home and family and you've got to do it in 30 seconds or less and you can enter until the contest closes at midnight on november the 6th and remember you, maybe you don't know this but all the taxes are paid this car is free literally wow. free yeah. here's free, the free, keys free. all yours go home and that's it, it right drop the mic yeah. here you go <laughs> we come back sean mcguire's up robin hood hey. John McGuire stars in ABC's, uh, it's Robin Hood in ABC's Once Upon a Time. He's going to chat a little bit about the perks of being Robin Hood. I imagine yeah, there's quite I a few perks. of these. How, uh, let's talk about his love life this, mm. this season, huh? Yeah, it's, huh? A, little, it's a little uh, complicated. It is. Well, I think they all are, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it's the nature of the <laughs> oh. drama. I mean, if you yeah. went, oh, I like you, I like you, let's just go shopping. It probably wouldn't be a very entertaining show. But um, How did you get involved with the evil queen, though? She's so awful. Well, she was, but she's tr she's trying. She's changing. She's she's, she's going through that, that journey of ever mass killing queen to <laughs> sort of nice hero y type person. She's a black heart. Well, she did have a black heart, but you know, everybody deserves a second chance, even if they've killed loads of people. And, and so, <laughs> So, so I think that the, the, the journey that that character has taken in particular seems to be something that really resonates with the fans because I think a lot of people out there that, that watch the show and escape into the show kind of look at their own lives and go, well, I did something wrong. Is there redemption for me? And so sure. that character gives gives a lot of people hope and I, I was the same I was like she killed loads of people <laughs> but I have fans of the show come up to me and say you've got to stay with her she, she's wonderful and I'm like but you know she killed her but I know I know I know about the death but but, but stay with her but aren't you feeling rather well, listen to me rather rather I'm just feeling rather <laughs> Eliza Doolin rather right. yes yeah, a rather you your passport with you <laughs> I did it ambivalent about her I mean you, she, with the child that you're supposedly well I think that the characters obviously speaking about the characters I think Robin just fell in love with with Regina and and I think she him and then you know they had a lot of uh, obstacles to get through and then this latest one was you know that old thing when your wife who died comes back from the dead yes yeah and you know and then she gets frozen and <laughs> then um, you try to kiss her with true love's kiss and then that doesn't work because yeah. you love someone else. that old chestnut <laughs> well so that happened and and then she deceived me by pretending to be my dead ex uh, wife uh, and and then uh, we did some stuff and now she's pregnant and so it's made a very kind of uh, Jerry Springer kind of scenario for us. <laughs> well here you are uh, in this in this little snippet from the show uh, with mixed emotions about that. Oh. So once upon a time you auditioned for this role. I see how I... I, I did. Nice segue. Yeah. Uh, I did. I did. I, I actually I, I think I must have had a, you know, as actors do, had one of those couple of bad weeks or bad auditions because I remember I was painting my kitchen and my wife came in and said, oh, there's an email saying there's an audition for the show. It's Robin Hood. And I was like, no, nope, not today. I'm not doing it. I'm painting the kitchen. I will not be rejected today. The kitchen can't reject me. I'm staying here. And, and you know, wives being the, what color the clever was it? one. What colour was it? Do you remember? It's sort of a taupey grey okay. kind of okay. colour. Didn't have I'll, one I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you some, uh, okay. some swatches. swatches. <laughs> what did she say, though, to get you to put well, the she just said, she said, um, I don't know, maybe you should go for it. I could see you playing Robin Hood. And I was like, you know, she's uh, the, the clever one. And so I listened to her and I said, oh, okay, fine. But, 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 you know, I'm just, I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. I'm not taking any notes. I'm going to do it, drop the mic and I'm out. And, right. and, and did you, bizarrely, I, I got the job. But did you do it different? How did you see Robin Hood? Because a lot of people came before you. There were icons. There was, what, uh, uh, Errol, Errol Flynn, Flynn and, and Sean Connery. Yeah, and, Kevin Costner yes. and... and yeah. So, yeah, the list goes what on. Did you do yeah, the big right? shoes, my friend. Yeah, they are. I mean, um, uh, and and big tights. Uh, to <laughs> um, I, I mean, the thing is, I, I find with a role that's as iconic as, as Robin Hood, the the mistake I think for me to have made is to look at everybody else and mm -hmm. and steal. I just the, the script was the guide. That was the way to sort of bring it to life. And and the thing that occurred to me straight away was. In this reality, he is just a regular dad, uh, a leader of men, um, and so I just thought, just play that. Don't play that I'm Robin Hood, you yeah. know, because he doesn't perceive himself that way. He doesn't know that to us in our world that he's considered an icon. So I just tried to make him a real guy and 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 play it with conviction. Yeah. Well, I understand a lot. Like our, I guess, some of the shows, families 
uh, important on your set. Massively, you know? yeah. We have, uh, there must be something in the water up in Vancouver because everybody that joins the show tends to have a baby about a year later. In fact, one, the of the, queen. one of the ADs actually yeah. said to me when, I, I think it was the first episode, she said, are you married? And I said, yeah. And she goes, yeah. and I was only supposed to do five episodes initially. And she said, you're going to be on this for a while and you're going to have a baby. And I was like, whoa, steady, <laughs> steady. I'm still dealing with these leather pants. But, uh, and, and sure enough, she was right. I'm still on the show and now I have a, a beautiful son. Wow. Oh, and the leather Pants. He's three months, three yes. Months I'm going to get him some leather pants. Look at this. Now, what happens when your, your wife brings the baby on the set? Oh, well, that was the, that's the first, the, that's the only time that he's been on the set. That was only when he was about a month old. And we were shooting a scene with all of us together. And, all the um, women. With that look just, on their face. I recognize just, oh, that look. We just, are they all pregnant now? <laughs> uh, they are now. Yeah. I've seen to that. Uh, no, I'm joking. I, I joke. I joke. Uh, no, they, no, but I mean, it's one of those shows, I think because we feel that we've got a, a show that, that, that is doing well and we feel that we have that confidence that we're going to be there for yeah. a minute so people start going okay maybe now's the time to start thinking about a family and and with us it, it wasn't planned it was just a divine conception we'll yeah. call it well listen uh, no matter how many you know children are on the set we do think of you and we have a little gift for you that you have to oh, you know, my this is going to keep you busy uh with your little one That's for a so while sweet thank but, you um, so because there's only enough for you. You can't share that. No, I'm keeping this. No, yeah. no, he can get his own. That's, That's the attitude. School, that, by the way, that is the Robin Hood cute. attitude right there, right? Just oh, keep it. Don't very share it. Kind of you. Thank you. Can watch much. Once Upon a Time Sunday at 8, 7 Central on ABC. Thank you so much. It was That's lovely. good to have you here. here. We're going to come right back. is going to love this because it has a slow cooker. He loves cooking with this. Oh. This your boys. All, all your whole family is going to love it's such this. a tender dish. It is. Usually it's delicious. The whole house smells terrific. And I want to introduce uh, you to our next guest. She's known for creating mouth-watering watering Mexican cuisine. Welcome back, the co-host of The Kitchen on the Food Network. We have the best-selling cookbook author, Chef Mar Marcella Valladolid. Yes, Welcome. yes, yes. Day of uh, the Dead. Yes. Why? Yeah, but Celebrating in, dead people? No, but oh. in Mexico, it's <laughs> such a, it's not a morbid holiday. It's huge and colorful, and it's all about, you know, celebrating the people in your lives that are gone, but you oh. want to remember them. Great memories, great food, great drink, great everything. Wait, did the evil queen kill them all? <laughs> is that what, is that? She may have done. She, she okay, have I just want to make sure we're talking she about the same South America first <laughs> off. Yeah. Well, it's all about celebration, and you usually honor one person. I, every year, honor, honor my mother, Maria. Oh, I brought mommy. her picture. It's oh. right there. And I'm actually oh. making one of the dishes that she absolutely loved. Oh. All right, well, today you're sharing with us one of your fer very favorite dishes. Yes. It is pronounced, tell me if I'm wrong, Dia de los Muertos. Yes, that's actually the holiday. Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los Muertos. Okay, okay. Very okay. Los muertos. <laughs> okay. We, yes, you make a wonderful recipe. For yes. Me. Okay, let's bring it out for everybody. Let's. And what is it we're eating, actually? You're eating a marinade. It's a pork oh. butt that's cooked down in a beautiful morida chile and hoisin yeah. sauce. And you're thinking, why is hoisin sauce in this Mexican recipe? Yes, why is it? We yeah. have a huge, ginormous, a beautiful Chinese community in Baja, one of the largest in all of Latin America. So a lot of Mexican fuse, food is fused with Chinese food, and that was my mom's favorite kind of food, that fusion. So I created this dish in her honor. But is there a fancy name no, for it? Yeah. No, it's just, it's just a, a, a pork butt in, in a hoisin sauce and a morita sauce. That's it. And That's does, it. does tequila go very well with this? Yeah, what does What does a tequila go with? Well, that's a very good point. That's a good point. Right, let's get started. Should we cook? Okay, really simple. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of oil in a pan, just like that. And then we're going to create this. It's kind of one of those set it and forget it sort of situations, okay? So what we're going to start off is, is a little bit of celery, what we like to call in the cooking world the mirepoix, which is like the base of, of many, many sauces. We're going to add those in there, a little bit of carrot, some oh, leeks that leeks. aren't as... Usually you do this with onion, but I like leeks because they're a little more subtle and they add great flavor. Mm -hmm. So you add those in there. What do you think, Corey Charles? You, what, what do I think? Are you just like eyeballing it? <laughs> I'm just, just, just I always eyeball it yeah. when I'm yeah. cooking. I just Trying throw everything the in the right there. Way. On behalf of everybody in the kitchen, I would just like yeah. to say, <laughs> to get a mucho. <laughs> Okay, I'm adding a little bit of garlic, and then I'm going to get all that smoke and flavor from the morita chiles, which are this beautiful thing right here. Where do you get no. those? Yeah, where? Yeah, at the Hispanic, uh, at the Mexican market, the Hispanic section of your supermarket, but any dried chile will work. Um, these are almost a little harder to find, but you'll find ancho chiles all over the place. Yes. Um, you add those in there. Sean, what are we thinking? 
I would say I want villages, but I have my mouth full. Okay. <laughs> That's wonderful. Never Usually stop when me. there's no noise at I the know, table, it means quiet. the food is good. <laughs> well, you know, around the holidays, we're always celebrating family and traditions. Yes. So is this part of your tradition in your family? Absolutely. I build a huge altar every year in my house to honor my mom. Like, this is Aww. a small version of it. Mine is like eight feet. Oh, huge. beautiful. And oh, it's all goodness. about the stuff that oh, she wow. loved, all her favorite foods. Now, as you can see, I'm adding where most of the flavor is coming from for this recipe. It's the hoisin sauce, and that's where I'm adding that Asian ingredients because she loved that flavor combo. Mm. So we're going to cook this down, and we obviously don't have time to wait for all this to get nice and soft and car caramelized and mushy and flavorful. So you give that a good 15, 20 minutes. You blend it, and then you come out with this beautiful oh. sauce right here. See? Smell it? Wow. It still, it still needs to go in the slow cooker, so yes. we're not even there. Okay. So you add your pork butt into the slow cooker. And then right how here. long do you have to slow cook it for? A good six hours, but I like to say, you know, check it. Open it up. Nothing happens if you try to pull it apart. It's not ready. Let it go for another hour. Right. You know, just let it cook. Do we need any of these? Yes, that's yeah. going in there as well. So okay. we're going to season this heavily with salt and pepper. Mm. And just like that. This is fine. apple cider vinegar oh. to just kind of brighten up okay. all the flavors that you can add straight in here or straight into the slow cooker. It doesn't really matter. So we add those in the slow cooker. I'm trying not to touch the pork. Oh, oh my goodness. What happened there? <clears throat> I think we blew Somebody a fuse. Somebody sat on a blender. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. the dead coming. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. They're upset. They're like, no, quicker. Goes to blender okay. fast. <laughs> and then we add the sauce in there. And like I said, just let it go. And it's going to come out to this beautiful pork that you can shred. You serve it with Whoa. salsa, a little bit of lime, some fresh cilantro. And it's super simple. Can we so Mexican. Here? Absolutely. This. Here, I'm going to put this over here so everybody can, can see inside this pot. You could, do it with, you could do it with fish. any meat. Mm -hmm. You can actually throw a whole chicken in here. Mm. Pour that sauce over it and let it go, and it's going to be really delicious. Okay. How much did your Can children you see, get? Because oh. you obviously your mom taught you a lot. How much did your kids get involved with the process? Uh, pretty much. I don't know if you remember, but last time my son oh. Fausto was here, and he confessed yeah. to the world that all he ate was quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a fun that's conversation fun. in the car on the way home. <laughs> Not while we're live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you put these together? Uh, I'm looking for the tortillas. I don't know where they went. The tortillas. Are they hiding are they for the there? tortillas? Like, over there. Why, over tortillas. there. Are they there? Yes, they are. They're right here. Can I ask okay. you a question real quick? Yes, There's of course. These little orange flowers that you put up. What is that? That is that, just a, that just fell from off the orange. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, they're edible flowers that you can find at any market. But yeah. the reason I picked oh, the orange yeah. Yeah. is because they're representative of the of the marigolds, the mm. sempasuchi, marigolds. which are placed on them? every. Yeah, you can eat you can them. Eat. Mm. They're placed on every altar because they're meant to entice the dead to come over and oh. visit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. right. oh okay, we're doing it. Happy we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. Boy, is, does that taste delicious? Isn't it lovely? It's really good. Yeah. So yeah. you add the pork, and then it's it's as simple as Love a little cilantro. bit of fresh cilantro. And I like the leaves. I don't like to chop it. I like the big leaves. Me too. A little bit of salsa. You can make it at home, or you can purchase it. I won't. I won't tell anybody if you buy it. <laughs> a little bit of lime, and then that's like Mexico so I, on a plate. That's a really good representation of true Mexican food. Eating. What does the Ooh, spice what? come from? Is yeah. it a little bit spicy? It's the morita that's chile. That's it's a okay. chile. It's a yeah. dehydrated chile that, like I said, you can substitute with any chile oh. on the market. I was going to say, it, it felt like chile to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. that. I knew that. I want to take a bath in this. Yay! Oh that God. makes me happy. Wow. <laughs> so delicious. Not until Act 10, okay? Uh, details on this recipe, visit our website. You can go follow Chef Marcella at, uh, you see there at the bottom of the screen, oh. at Chef Marcella. Marcella or Marcella? Marcella. Marcella. Yeah. Perfect. Love it. Uh, on her Instagram. All right, we're coming back, and if he right. hasn't digested it yet, Matt, you better get busy. Te quiero saber, me torro un poco. Do you know what that means, Kim? No. That means I want to know a little of everything, and I'm going to show you how to make a haunted Halloween hall sconch. <laughs> 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 As you can see, did that scare you? I was a little, you, I was, little bit, I know. I was a little worried. You I thought to run back to my trailer. You thought the Eva Queen was bad. I was. Uh, you had no idea. It's like, you darling. Had no idea. So, uh, Sean's helping Matt and I out today. We've got a really wonderful, we're teaming up for this spooky DIY that's not that spooky to make. You no. should be afraid of this, right? Not Matt? at all. So, we're going to make uh, Halloween wall sconches designed by our amazing prop master, Dave Lowe. Obviously, Halloween is one of his favorite holidays, as you can tell from our entire house. Actually, let's take a look at his sketch of the yard right now. Look at that. Look so, at Sean. Wow. This, is, this is what he does, and you can see, uh, you know, we're gonna, we've got the scarecrow thing in there, and we've highlighted, now everything is dimmed out, and you see that circle in the middle that we're doing the sconces that he has set up. But his neighbors there. are very jealous. They are very jealous. And, you know, we always invite people at home,
home to do these because we lay everything out on our website and you can do this. This one, if you've been to Disneyland, Disney World, the Haunted Mansion. Yes, yes, this, I was is, there this morning. It was inspired by that. Like he saw these things, he's like, aha, I can make that. I can yeah. do it for a dime. Well, and people enough. love Halloween, so this is a great, a great way to be at festive. Tell Sean what he needs. Uh, it's actually quite simple. You need... Uh, Bearing in mind I'm an actor, so... <laughs> Is it actor proof simple Here's or is it? When I started doing the show, this wasn't my thing. And then the more I work with Mark and I'm on the show, like you can really do this stuff. It's simple. And we'll put that said, to the it's, test. It's on the website. All you need for this is plywood, a basic skeleton arm that you can get at any uh, Halloween store, mm -hmm. some PVC pipe. As you're going to see, we cut the first one into 18 inches. I'll get into that in a minute. Some wooden, but uh, wooden buttons, uh, plastic cup here you could also use like an old coffee can and some acrylic paint and some gorilla glue and we'll show you step by step how to do this bad boy it's awesome. all right should we get started yes okay so you obviously you start with your base your plywood now we like to uh really embrace halloween so we cut it in the shape of a coffin mm -hmm. but as you can see right next to mark you could actually just use, use a pl pl basic plywood yeah. and then mark uh, we already have a pre uh circled hole right there you want to go about a quarter inch deep with the drill and that's gonna get you uh, your base because we're gonna put in Yep, right about Good. there. That's perfect. It's, and then Mark, I do this well because I used to be a dentist. Ah! I used to. I can see why you changed careers. Yeah, yeah. The little suits. Yeah, yeah, yes, it was. <laughs> Just the wrong tool. You gotta have the right tool for the job. Yeah. So actually, you know what, Sean? Why don't you grab the gorilla glue? Okay. Right here, and you're gonna put. You need your first okay. uh, 45. No, your joint piece oh, okay. right here. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. 45 degrees. You want it to paint, uh, point forward. Go ahead and put okay, the glue in. So, right oh, you're, glue you're glue first or this first? There you go, right here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put glue first. However you want to do it. There's no wrong way. Well, I, again, I, I may prove you oh, wrong with my terrible skills. The there, there you go. I've already got it wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> as he's doing that, when he's done, it's going to look like this right here, this okay. second piece. Okay. And then you're going to take your 18-inch PVC pipe, slide that in. Mm. All right, now that's sticking up. Now, you don't need to attach it. You don't have to glue it or anything. You just Not put it right in. Not this part, yeah, because that's already the the base is already glued in. Now the Go ahead. I was going to tell him, but well, you do this. The, the length of this is determined by the length of your forearm and bone. Correct. That you get whatever you purchase. So this, you know, you buy this from the Halloween store, cut off the hand, cut off the stake at the bottom, and it ended up looking like this. Mm. Oh, sorry, I'm just looking at a final version. Yes, yeah. this is all coming together. Slide that bad boy in okay. there right there, okay. and that should be about as long as it is. You see? Okay, now you're going to take the three-way PVC pipe, and as you see right here, there's just about a little inch cut from the PVC pipe that we can uh, that we can use as the joint. Did I get that right? Yeah. So you put the second uh, joint right there on the top, and then slide that bad boy in up top right there. Yep. Okay. So when that's done, you want to remember this is where the torches or the flame things coming in, so it wants to go up and down. So when you eventually put it on the wall, see how we're doing this so, so it's far, right? Vertical. Perfect. Okay. And it'll make sense in a minute. So now you have your hand that's cut mm -hmm. right there. So this is the best part, Sean. You're going to super glue this thing. I love it. Because here's what I like about you. Here, hold that for me. Yes. We, we give me a hand. Give me a hand. Thank you so much. <laughs> I knew it was I, coming. <laughs> He's here all week. Don't forget to tip you away, too. Okay, great. Now, now what are we gluing? I was going to say, glue as much as you want on there. So as you can see, you can't put too much oh, glue. Oh, because it's got a good waxy effect. Yeah, you okay. can drip. The more glue, the better, because the better it's going to hold, and the oh, more wait, one thing too, I want to point out that we cut this little edge out here so it can fit in, ah, but you don't have to. So you don't have to. It cups in nicely. Yep. Okay. You don't have to, but basically, the more glue, glue that you use, there. the better. Right. Let that stuff ooze and drip everywhere oh. because it's the gooey Halloween scary, oh my okay. gosh. So Look take it that. from there. You can stop that, and we'll jump over to where Matt is now. As you can see, can, you, can the camera come right up here and see how the glue it doesn't matter that it drips over because you're gonna paint over it anyways and it's gonna look extra extra creepy Do you Ooh, see that perfect okay so now that we have that we're at this point now we're gonna attach the to uh, the torch so you want to cut uh, two pieces of PVC pipe and we've done about eight Six. inches here and about you know four inches there I just want to show off for a second mm -hmm. we didn't cut it I karate chopped it Wow yeah. really yeah, right? like they're deadly leaflets yeah <laughs> okay and this is something you could use every year right you take this yeah, down it's not like paper decoration so this is good yeah. for, for a few years mm -hmm. very sturdy and then finally you want the torch <laughs> at the top and what we did is basically this plastic bucket Okay. And did you just cut that with scissors? Or? Cut it with scissors, or you could use a nice little razor blade like that. Oh. Or whatever works. Or, or karate chop. But not everyone has your silky no, skills no, in the true. karate department. Right. Or the right. Steinus chop. There you go. Slide that. You, you take that off. Yeah. yeah. You want to right. glue that in. There you go. Okay. Boom. 
Uh -huh. Now the bottom one, uh, which you can do is we added this. We just put, there's a couple of things like a wooden ball here and some plugs, wooden plugs. This goes at the bottom. It sort of caps off things like this. Mm -hmm. Voila. Now here's one thing that Dave is, well he's masterful at a lot of stuff, but is that finishing look, that glue, or that, that paint finish, and we're going to put this on our Facebook page, the video of Dave, how he finished this, but if you look at some of the detail on it, he mixes colors together, it's just acrylic paint, but he can make it look rusty, he can make it look like it's made out of stone, all different sorts of finishes, but he's going to show you and demo that on our Facebook page. It looks awesome. What he did here is he started with a copper base, sprayed it all copper, and then he added like some green and black paint to it so it'll give that like rusty mossy look but like mark said i mean you can go with the stone yeah. you can go with like the green ghoulie swamp look whatever you want now this is also i want to point out too this is much better than what the evil queen she uses the real people she yeah, actually does take, use real and, old arms yeah i never liked her <laughs> <laughs> and it's an ultimate back scratch. <laughs> perfect wonderful we're going to put this uh the the directions for this on our website also we invite you to drop by mattrogersusa.com we're coming right back Angela. Well, once upon a time, uh, once upon a time takes place in a magical yeah. land. Can, can oh, seriously? We're on the we're points, Mark. Okay. Deduct points. They were talking. Okay. Okay. I was in the duck so, Yeah, we have a strategy. Don't yes. worry about it. Okay. You live in a fairy tale, okay? <laughs> they are my fairy tale. All right, because <laughs> because Sean is here, he's in Once Upon a Time. We thought we would use the take that chair, take advantage of that opportunity and do the fairy tale edition of charades mm -hmm. or as Christie's charades. Charades. So Sean is here with Debbie and Paige and Jeanette over here is Christina, Angelique, Matt, and Winner! Yeah. 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 So yeah. here's how this works. You know how charades works. But if I have to really tell you, uh, you're in trouble. But you uh, okay. can come up here. I will give you uh, what's on here is okay. a fairy tale. And it's your job through gestures and pantomime to get your team to guess what that is. If you utter a sound, if you say anything, you're disqualified. Can you point to stuff? Or do you have to I just... took a moment of pause that there to create oh, drama. Yeah. Yeah. Gravitas. You can point to things, okay, sure. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, you have 45 seconds to get through your round. Okay. If not, you're going to hear this sound. One of those. Pick one. <laughs> Julie's in there going, I got to find a sound. That means your round is over, okay? You have 45 seconds. We did flip a coin earlier. And because Christina is the best fairy tale person I know, she doesn't go first. Sean is up. Sean is right. first. Okay. Okay. I'm nervous. I know. Okay. No, hang on. Don't oh, slide yet. Oh, slide. Get We're it. So we were very eager. We're very eager. Very eager. Okay, you can turn and okay. face your team over okay. this way. Here is. I'm not being rude. It's just team uh, stuff. Uh, right. This right. is your fairy tale, and you're gonna have 45 seconds on the clock, please. Okay. Go, Sharon. Right. Um, so How many words? Oh, movie. 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 It's a movie. Two, Two words. words. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I, I just, I'm sorry, it's, I, I, what, it's, it's synergy, I can't, I, so the bar, the bar's quite high. Yes. That's why I'm there. Stay there, stay there, everybody move down. 45 seconds on the clock, please. 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, ready? Okay. Uh, movie. movie. One, One word. Cinderella. Aladdin. Yeah. You go down there. You go down there. Oh, yeah, we have to Move keep on down. Down. Okay. What's happening right now? I don't know. I don't know. This is a lot of pressure. Can we have them check for steroids afterwards in case there's any kind of... Can you... Is this x-ray vision? <laughs> okay. I'm going to hide it. Okay. Here we go. This is 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Pinocchio! Yes! Let's pick up the pace. I didn't know. Pick up the pace. I wasn't. Somebody's going to get burned out. 45 seconds on the clock, please. So nervous. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, good. What happened? Snow White and the Seven Five words? Three words. Third word. Hands on Gretel. Third word. Oh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. No. It's a Shrek Gremlin. It's a Gremlin. It's the fifth word. No word. No word. Fifth word. Five words. Four or five. The fourth word. Oh. Third word. Wait a minute. Pick a word. Pick a word. Three. No, 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 no. The big bad wheel. No. The big bad. Three, three, big, 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 big,
Second word. Second word. Uh, right, 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 right. So, it's Robin Hood. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow, wow. Oh, it it would be bad if I didn't do that. Yeah. Shut it down. You have okay, here we go. All right. It's sunny All right. the shed. <laughs> no. We have ready? three I'm to exhausted. two. Three to 45 two. seconds yeah. on the clock. Okay. There you go. Marie. Okay. Do it. You're very... Three, three words. words. Three words. Little, 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 that was a fine oh. moment. Uh, a fine Ready? moment. 45 seconds. We are tied. We okay. are tied. One word. Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. It's good. There's all one word. Okay, ready? Oh. Kim, we got it. She comes. I'm not saying it. We got it. Kim. We got you back. Kim, no, she I have four to three. Okay. Yeah. Four to three. Come on, Come on. Kim. Come on. Look at Kira. I'm nervous. I'm so scared. I know. You are the hero. Yeah. Come or you're on. Not. Jerry is here watching you. 45 seconds. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Is this? Two words. Two words. Three. Four, Four words. Four words. Goldilocks in Gold the tree. No. Goldilocks. Uh, Goldilocks. Take a Goldilocks. Rapunzel. 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 Snow, Snow White. Puff and Puff and Puff and Puff. Three oh, little pigs. Snow, Snow White. Let me in. Let the me bear. in. The bear. Um, um, oh, hair. It's about hair. Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Okay. Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Fourth. Fourth. Fourth word. You can't make a noise. Oh, oh. no. What? Oh. Dragon? Dragon. Dragon. A bear. Oh, King Kong. Oh, mm. Three bears. No, we already did that one. Oh, oh my God. What is it? Oh, 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 That's 45 oh. seconds. We get all the hard It was. Beauty and the Beast. You should have pointed at him. Oh. I know. Oh. You should have pointed at him. We have. There you are. Oh, thank you. Yes, for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Careful, it's probably still thank wet. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, that was good. You should have done that. You should have done that. All right. You want to take us a break on this one, honey. Well, we're here. Sean was having problems with his trailer on set, wanted to brighten it up a little bit. Yes. So Paige Hemis was like, I got a unique way to in the antler range. Yes. <laughs> and in the Braveheart mur murdering weapon range. <laughs> They're nice weapons. They are. They are. They are. Yes. They are. Why'd you want to do this, though, seriously? I really like this look, and it's really popular in cabins, and we're remodeling a cabin right now. So I really wanted to get this look, and when I went online to shop for them, Upwards, I think the cheapest one I found was about thirty three hundred. Yeah, you start uh, yeah. increasing yeah. your asking price on a home yeah. when you put something. Seriously, like this yes. Really do, it's three cool. bedroom, two bath, and an antler chandelier. <laughs> You're gonna have to put that on the listing. Yes. <laughs> so what did you decide? You took matters into your own hands. So how did you yes. start? Where did you start? Uh, where I started, I actually went online, found a design that I like, and then I did some research. So what you want to do is get antler sheds. Now I got these from a farm in Indiana that uh, that the deer actually shed them. It's a huge difference. Yes. Yes, Between the other way. Yeah. You don't want to go taxidermy yeah. way. Yeah, um, yeah. You want to go sheds because every year a deer loses their little horns. Yeah. So they'll be running through, they'll rub it on a tree, or it just falls off. Kind of like really? when we lose our teeth. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they do it every oh, single year. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh. Look, just, just a little oh. frolicking and off it comes. Oh. You'll oh, see it. Now it's lopsided now. now he's not too long. Oh, he shook it off. Look shook at that. Wow. And it takes three months for them no to grow back. Idea. Yes, yeah. and they break off so nicely. And I know when an angel loses its wings, but I never knew. <laughs> when a deer an never loses its wings. Well, I hear, oh, grows its wings? It grows its wings. wings. Okay. He never loses it, though. And or the she. antler grows back yeah, on the deer. Come. Yes. Yeah. All right, so how you, you decided to put this all together. Is it difficult to build the chandelier? It is not difficult. Okay. No, I used um, a hot glue gun, and I'll show you guys how. It's probably not the most sturdy thing in the whole world, but it's going to be above your dining table. You don't need to be swinging from it. No. Oh. So you can use hot glue. Anymore. 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 Yes. Oh, that song? I got started earlier this morning. Let me show you what I did. First, I found this really ugly chandelier. Okay, and it is? It is very ugly, Fair. yes. <laughs> I agree with you. You can jump out and say, I've got that in my house. Yes. Uh, well, here's a way to update it. <laughs> and at this 
this point, <coughs> you just want to find little antlers that kind of go along with the shape that you have. I used wire, craft wire, to kind of secure them on. Mm. And I used hot glue. This is very high tech. Anyone can do it at home. Hot <laughs> glue to stick it on. You just want to hold it into place. And then it was white. I wanted a little something more updated. So I got metallic paint and sprayed, I sprayed the entire thing. So the antler sheds, and if you can see, those were started out as white. They're not quite as pretty as the ones we have here on the table. Mm. So, and when you get these, you get them from a farm. So a lot of times some are great looking and some have this like beautiful color and also some are white and kind of, you know, look like they've been out in the desert. So I painted those. Mm. And then the last thing here, this is the one you saw here. All you need to do is screw these on and look how fun these are. If you can look inside, this changes the way a chandelier looks. Now this just sits right on top of your, spread that apart, right on top of your Bulb. Little bulb, yes. Look Excuse how easy me, that though. is. Did you wire this chandelier? No. What, no. What it, is I that? Did. No. Did you? <laughs> Sean was here all <laughs> night. Amazed me. I got you here amazed me, sir. My two kids have that. Yes. <laughs> what is that that you put on there? You screwed on that makes it light up. What is that? This. Well, <laughs> this right here. No. This only holds it into place. Look at that. You didn't wire it. How did you get light in there? It is no, hardwired. It's, a, it's a, oh, no, hard it's a, It was all in the original lamp, and then it's just. It's called electromon. Electromon. Is it electricity? I know it's electricity. No, it's very current. It. All right. So I actually did this in my, my old Big Bear house. Um, right. We took this kind of ugly yeah. chandelier from the person I bought it from. Oh, there's Jason and I. Wow, I'm heavier. Um, <laughs> uh, we took that chandelier. You're wearing a vest. That's yeah, so that's weird. a puffy vest. You and if uh, you'll see the after picture, I've taken that off, and then oh, I just wow. added some uh, some oh, little. Wait, that's your after shot. That's the after shot. Yes. Oh. And you so, left it naturalized, which is lovely. Exactly. Yeah, yes. Right, right, so right, this nice. is one here that I that I finished today. I just left. Very nice. Completely yeah. natural. I painted actually. That was the one that was in the pre-tape, and that was bright brass. Right. You paint it dark, a little spray oh, paint, wow. costs Very under $100 nice. for the entire thing. That's Very fantastic. Well, if you want complete directions on our website, Sarah Robin, you can look it up. You so can. Love to you do can. This. I can't. I live in the woods. But, but you at home with But you can hang this here to see. You home with these. Or you can visit our, our page, Hemis, at pagehemis.com. We're going to come nice. back and sit and chat with Jenna. American plans to spend $74 on decorations, candy, costumes, and more this Halloween. But Jeanette Pavini is here with ways to tell you how you can score deals on all things and everything Halloween. Yes. And you're and um, you're going to tell us how to do that. Yes. Yes. And and you're going to well, do that right now. I'm, okay. gonna, I'm going to. Think. I did yes. all the homework yes, for sorry. you. Yes. Sorry. Yes. No, start with the sweet you, tooth. Well, the sweet mm -hmm. tooth. And you know, this is one of the things that if you procrastinate, like I have in the past, you run out yeah. to the corner store the night of, and you just you you spend thirty. $30. Don't yeah. do that. I did the research here and I want you to look at unit prices. Shawnee, because really? that's going to, yes. Notes. You make notes, dad, my I'm friend. Like, that's right. And then the people that dress up as Robin yes. Hood get a little extra yes. treat, I'm sure. <laughs> so, um, you know, what I mean by unit price is they have the larger bags, right? And for example, this was $10.99, but then it was on sale for $5. Okay. And so basically, you, what you're going to be paying here is about 13 cents an ounce. Whereas if you buy the fun size this was 349 it was on sale for 299 but it's 28 cents an ounce so you're far better getting the bigger bag sure. and a lot of times like these types of candies are less expensive than chocolate, chocolate yeah. yes yeah. so you don't want to wait for that what about the costume yeah. speaking of what are you guys going are you going out this are you, going Do you know I, we were talking about it last night because obviously first year as a dad and obviously my yeah. son has no say in the matter because he can't talk <laughs> and we were at Disneyland this morning because I was doing an interview and we stopped by the gift store and I'm a big Star Wars fan and they have like a an R2-D2 baby grow Great. like this big Aww. and I was like he's gonna be R2-D2 and I was like oh no that means I'm C-3PO <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but, no, uh, but how well, I'm gonna costume. tell you how to save because that it's is something it's Disney. very expensive and you know if especially if you're going with what's hot you know hot hot this year like um, what is it frozen or something yeah. like yeah. that so you know you could do things like look at resale shops for kids great great deals um, now I did a little research and at coupons.com there was a 20% off um, and a single item at the Spirit Shop. There was 25% off at Halloween Express. And then at Amazon, a $10 off for if you spend over $50. So why would you not do that, right? Yeah. So you want to get a coupon code. Um, I got those again, coupons.com. So look for that. Look in resale shops. And also masks can be very expensive, but use face paints. Yeah. And that's yeah. way less expensive. Our, our website is filled with all kinds of ways for, yes. for this year to how to, how to do the face paints.
training, so they could go to our website too. Yes, at the website you'll have great things. Yeah. yeah. And the masks can be kind of a pain. You spend your whole evening going, what, sorry, I didn't know they don't drink. The right. Water. And yeah, so exactly. face paint seems like a great idea. Yeah. What about, what about pumpkins? Yeah. Oh, well, pumpkins, I will tell you this. We did our research on pumpkins also, and we found Trader Joe's had great pumpkins for two ninety nine, and we found them upwards at more expensive grocery stores, six ninety nine. So I, Trader Joe's. yes, Trader Joe's had great deals, two ninety nine on sale. And you're saying stay away from pumpkin patches because why? well, pumpkin patches I think are fun, but you're paying for the experience. Mm. So please, if, especially if you're on a budget, call first to make sure there's not an entrance fee because a lot of times I've heard parents show up and it's like they brought all the kids and there's an entrance fee. And oh, like, that's well, nice. So yeah, call and find out if there's that. an entrance yeah, fee and if yeah. there's not, then go for Catalyst it. And pumpkin I right? tell you. <laughs> well, for more information, of course, you can follow Jeanette on Twitter at Jeanette Pavini. We're coming right back, and we have a dog that needs a loving home. It's Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. That is a beautiful blue car. We're going to get to that in just a little bit, but of course, we have to tell you, Hallmark Channel's Bat, uh, Pet Project and Best Friends Animal Society teaming up for Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. Suzanne Browning is here, Michelle Safi, and who is this? This one? is the best Big dog you brought. They're all wonderful. This is this, this little is, girl is so special. This is yes. Patsy. Oh, we'll she's call so her Patsy sweet. Klein for today with her little oh, yeehaw bandana. She's cabin. so happy. She's the perfect she's family sweet. dog. She was a family dog, and they moved into a condo and didn't have room for her. So oh, she's, breaks my she's heart. Already housebroken, a great family dog, and we've also had great, you know, great success. And I hope she'll be another success story. We so Houdini sweet. was adopted, so that gives us seven dogs that we've had adopted so far. We couldn't be more excited and more proud. Yay. Thank so you, everyone. How many do we have? Two, three available? Uh, uh, seven. How many do we have? We've had yeah. seven adopted. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh. And we have about okay, five available. And if you would like more information about adopting Patsy, you can visit our website at bestfriends.org and tune in every day through the month of October. To see more dogs and puppies who need loving homes, please give this puppy a loving home because she's so, so special. She's my favorite. Oh, too. She's, oh, she's <laughs> my favorite. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Listen, I, we're standing in front of this amazing car, and it could be yours. A chance to win a 2015 Ford Edge for your family. Go to our Facebook page, use the hashtag. Yeah! yeah! And, and uh, it's a $35,000 car. Everything is in included in this. Go to, if you don't do it on a Facebook page, go to, um, and be sure you use the hashtag HF Yeehaw contest on our Twitter and Instagram. All right, the winning video will be based on creativity and talent, so just go out and do it. Videos include the phrase Yeehaw, as we said, and home and family must be in there. And there's a 30 second time limit for your video, and you can enter into uh, the contest until it closes at midnight on November the 6th. And remember that all taxes are paid. This is your car for free. Yeah, wonderful. Member, include Yeehaw and home and family. 30 seconds or less. Be back here tomorrow. Another wonderful show. Actress Sarah Rue is here talking about partnering with Resolve Now. Stay ahead of the curve. And, and uh, also from the grinder, actress Hannah Hayes is going to stop by and spend some time with us. I want to thank everybody. this thank amazing you. cast yeah. of characters Sorry, today. Sean, On the count of three, a big yeehaw, guys. Yeehaw. One, two, three. Yeehaw.